Hey guys, it's Neil and welcome to Hardcore Linux. On August of 2019, I had bought an old Lenovo netbook with an Intel Atom N280 on it. As specification wise, the CPU is Intel Atom N280, clocks at 1.66 GHz. It has got a 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM clocked at 800 MHz. As far as the screen goes, it's 11.5 inch with a resolution of 1200 by 800. 3 USB Type-A ports, Ethernet port and a VGA output. Initial idea for this machine is to play retro games on it. So I install Borussia Linux on it and give it a go. It worked like a charm on NES and SNES and it's pretty obvious. Playing classic games like Super Mario Bros works like a charm. As you can see, it's running at 60 FPS constantly and the emulation is awesome. Moving to Double Dragon 2 and we got the same result as Super Mario, but really smooth gameplay. Now moving on some SNES games, starting with Super Mario Kart, another classic run like a charm on 60fps without any kind of glitches or screen tearing. On the next game, I try Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the result is same as Super Mario Kart. This machine is capable of emulating Sega, Sega Mega, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. But unfortunately, I don't have the footage of it. In other words, anything lower than N64, it will gonna run on this PC. Now the real thing is, can you use it in 2020? I take the challenge and use this netbook as my primary machine for 3 weeks. I choose Lubuntu since it's lightweight and I kinda like LXD desktop environment. After installing Lubuntu 18.04, the first problem I face with the Wi-Fi, the firmware is missing. On the other hand, the screen recording seems to be a big pain so I switched to my phone's camera for the rest of the recording. As a daily driver, it should do basic web browsing, streaming YouTube, some multitasking like Word and Excel. And it should be good to go. So I fire a Firefox and head to e-commerce website, in this case it's Flipkart. Actually it's not bad as I thought it would be. The page looks pretty responsive. Up next, I load up Amazon and since the website is lighter than Flipkart, this machine can handle it pretty easily. Switching tabs seems a bit laggy but I can live on this. It's not like a nightmare to me. Now let's take things to the next level, let's load YouTube. Loading a heavy site like YouTube takes a bit time for this tiny CPU. Streaming my latest video seems ok in 480p but if I try to play it in 720 it will turn into a nightmare. So 480p is the best you can get on this device. Head to some multitasking, opening a word editor and spreadsheet with Firefox in background running with 5 tabs. Feels a little bit snappy, but not unusable. Visiting websites, taking notes, seems fine to me. In the conclusion, 
I'd love to say if you are not into some heavy stuff, you can live your life still on an old Intel Atom processor. For the retro gaming purpose, I install RetroPie on this machine and the gaming performance remains same. Since the installation of RetroPie is really easy, I simply skip that part. All the important links will be given down in my description. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you like it and if you like give it a like, share this video and do subscribe and always thank you for watching. It's Hardcore Linux signing off, peace guys.